Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chris with the Sea. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. Um, as you know, uh, recently Grace has decided to uh, kindly donate uh, two trucks to me. So one of them was a big rock, uh, but I'm a 3S BLX version 3. The other one was this FTX Gladius, and I was kind of on the fence on which way to go with it. So um, I haven't got a crawler anymore, uh, so it was kind of nice that obviously Grace uh, uh, kindly gave this to me. Um, but I was kind of thinking, well, you know, what do I want to do with it? Where do I want to go with it? Uh, you know, what 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 purpose is this going to give me now? Um, I did enjoy crawling um, off camera. I did a little bit with uh, some friends of mine in Pantside, and I obviously I've, I've recorded some on the channel. Now um, this channel's mainly built up, as you know, with people into bashing, your know, sort of fast cars, that sort of thing. So the crawling never really took off on the channel. It was something I was kind of aware of that you guys weren't really that interested in. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, maybe as time's gone by, you are actually interested. Um, but I, I, in the background, I still wanted to have a crawler to go out and it's all to do with the mindfulness and going out and chilling out and just enjoying yourself. And I did enjoy going out with the guys from Panside. Basically, we, we headed to a place in, uh, called the Nissable and it was just a nice, peaceful, gradual, you know, sort of mess about with RCs, have a chat as we're going along, just enjoy some of the you know, area, the scenic kind of background, that sort of thing. And it was it was just a different feel to it altogether. Now, as you know, um, I like stuff that goes fast, all right? But there was a kind of uh, aspect to it that was challenging. Like, so, so I don't know, for instance, Maybe like one of the lads would cut the line and then we'd all follow, try to see who could get up to a certain point. And I, I'm relatively new to crawling. I haven't done a lot of it. So it was it was something different. It was definitely something different. And it was nice to get back in the cars at the end of the day and the cars were working. Now, the Gladius, uh, we took to a bash event and Grace uh, put it on the track. Um, next thing you know, this had happened. All right, so... Um, with all that time, we never actually got it back up and running. Uh, Grace has kind of lost interest now, you know, time has changed. So I have ordered the replacement, but it, what's happened is it actually snapped the axle on the rear of the truck there, as you can see. Uh, so uh, it's a cheap fix. I think it worked out around about nine pound, something stupid like that, uh, with delivery about 12. And I thought, well, all right, well, we, we, yo, do I want to take this any further? Um, so the plan here is really, I'm going to start building this into something that I enjoy. Now, as you know, I loved the, the Element Ecto. Um, and it was very capable, very, very capable of the box. And I thought to myself, well, look, it's never going to be an Element Ecto. Um, how far can I take this? Now, I watch a guy on YouTube, and he's, I don't know if he'll actually see this, uh, the RC family. I've spoken to him a few times, Dwight, his name is, and he's actually got one of these, and he's been working on it. And it turns out a lot of the Gladius is based upon the T uh, Traxxas TRX4 platform. Loads of the parts are compatible, down to the portals, axles, you know, stuff like that. And I thought, well, I'd seen the fact that he was just kind of upgrading bits and bobs, and I did like, you know, the kind of chilled out aspect to it all. So I thought, well, do you know what, let's give it a go. So my plan here is I'm going to start stripping away some of the weight, number one, because there's, a, you know, additional weight to this um, chassis. And I feel that it would be a lot better if we get rid of some of the weight. Now, that's number one. Number two, um, in years of brushed power package. Um, and after playing with Gareth from Panside's uh, TRX4 with a um, Hobby Ring Fusion, straight away I kind of knew right, well, that, that is something that I need to add to the vehicle. So I um, picked that up off AliExpress. That's the Hobby Ring Fusion 2-in-1. Um, guys, if you don't know, um, basically what that is there is a... ESC and motor all in one. So that actually saves on weight, number one. Number two, 1200 kV, so it's plenty of torque for your, your, your tight, uh, small climbs. And it, it's got something called uh, FOC. Now FOC essentially 
instead of adding, when you hold your trigger in one position, what it does, um, you can keep the speed gradual as you climb in, um, but what it'll do is add more torque in as it needs it. Very, very clever to do, and I, I, I very much like hobby wing systems anyway, so I thought, right, look, that was a no-brainer. So the next step after all of that then was obviously the wheels. The wheels on your, uh, um, the whole point with crawling, you want to keep the weight down low. So I then started looking at upgraded wheels. And again, pick these up off um, AliExpress. Um, and what this actually adds is 80 grams per side on the wheels. So the idea is I'm going to take these, you can actually split these. I'm going to keep using these tires for now. All right, and the foams are in there. I'm going to add them then to these um, AliExpress wheels. Um, and then, as time goes by, I'll then probably look at maybe a different wheel package. Uh, I'm going to do some chopping and changing. I'm going to remove the bumpers and so on and so forth. But I am going to be uh, pairing this up with my uh, Radio Link RC8X. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is... Um, it's got high-low gears on the gearbox here, okay? So the idea is I want to keep the high-low gears because I, I do a lot of trailing when I'm out, I'm out crawling. It's not just strict crawling. Um, so I want to be able to keep the high-low gears in there. Number two, the, the car, as you can see, has diff locks, which are activated off the handset. Uh, so what I want to do there is keep that. Now, I have been playing around as you can... I don't know where the other camera will pick that up. That's my... Um, uh, I think it's called the R, I don't know, I'm going to put my glasses on. It's the R4F GM receiver, really, really tiny micro receiver. Um, so the plan is I'm going to use that. I have paid it up and I've tested it all out. So I'm going to use that on the truck and keep hold of those features that I was talking about. Um, the shocks then I'm going to maybe look at and then obviously um, see if there's a better option for it. For now, I'll probably keep them on there and just see how they go. Uh, maybe just do a little bit of shock tuning. But um, yeah, I, I mean, it's going to give me a good base platform to kind of uh, to start working on and seeing how much weight I can deduct from the vehicle and how capable I can actually uh, turn the Gladius into. Now, as I say, the good thing is a lot of the brass the look that you would use for keeping the weight down low and adding weight to help it with climbing... All the T, uh, Traxxas TRX4 stuff is compatible. There are little bits and bobs and maybe some, a few little changes on the truck that might change that. But um, I just think it, you know, it's, it's a nice way of starting. Um, the other thing is here is I am going to be trimming the body as well. All right. So I want, um, as you know, I run the Gladius LCG body on my, um, on my Techno. Um, and it's, it's really, really strong. I'm quite impressed with these bodies. They do tend to hold up. So the plan is to possibly uh, just trim away the arches. I want to keep the lights in because I quite like the scale look with the lights, as you can see there. When they're plugged in, I do like the way it looks. Uh, so I want to keep those in, but I just want to remove some of the arches, maybe trim some of the rear because that was one of the things as you were climbing, what was happening is this rear was actually catching on stuff, you know, especially if you've got something really, really high. Um, I don't pretend to know a lot about crawling, let's be honest. Um, I think this is more of a case of suck it and see. Fingers crossed we can actually make something quite capable out of this little platform here. Um, I'm going to stop the video here and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do actually is, because this only takes two seconds, I'm actually going to remove this wheel off you and I'm going to add one of these AliExpress wheels on there and then show you the difference to see what they look like. But uh, I want to say a massive thank you for obviously watching all the videos as well, guys. All the like, shares, and subscribes. Uh, the going on channel is absolutely awesome. Something a little bit different for the channel. If you are interested to see some crawling footage, let me know in the comments. If not, that's absolutely fine. What I'll do, I'll just keep this in the background and, and work on it at my own leisurely pace. Um, and I'll just use it literally for going out with my friends after I've been bashing because what we tend to do is go bashing and then we, they go crawling after. Um, pause the video here, see you in a second. Welcome back guys, so uh, that escalated a bit quickly. As you can see there's uh, quite a few changes happened here um, since obviously I started the video earlier on. Uh, it was my son's birthday so he came over while he was here. I started stripping the car down and getting some weight off. Now, um, 
managed to mount up the new rims. Um, they're not as heavy as I expected. It turns out that the Gladius wheels were actually a little bit heavier than I thought. So it, uh, each wheel now is around about 24, 25 grams heavier. So it, in total is 100 grams right the way through the car. But I was hoping if it to be a bit more. Now, I, I can rectify that, obviously, when the brass weights and everything come. So that could be changed. Um, the other thing is, is so I've managed in total to remove from the vehicle in this big box by you and the wheels. Um, I think it worked out at 734 grams. It was around about that. Now, I'm not planning on trying to make it like a com crawl or anything like that. You know, that isn't my goal here. My goal is literally just to try and get this Gladius to be a little bit more um, capable when we're out and about um, trailing. Now, I've got to, several trailer thoughts going on here. To remove the front towers, um, obviously, sorry, the front fenders, I am going to need to order uh, off AliExpress. I, I, I will say massive thank you to Dwight Rabbit or RC Family. Um, basically, he suggested uh, getting TRX4 shock towers. And I've been talking to a friend of mine, uh, Gareth Manning from uh, Panside RC. There's several other bits, e.g. like the C hubs at the front that I got in brass along with the kit. Um, so what I'm planning on doing here is I'll order the towers for the front and rear. I think they're around about five pounds, nothing major. Um, and I can't try to think now. So also a metal motor mount. So the other issue I did have is in FTX's wisdom here. As you can see, I've got the motor mount there. That's in plastic. Now, that's fine. There's no particular issues with it being a metal, but other than the fact that, uh, yeah, the, the screws have all rounded out, so I could either remove them and then hope that I don't damage the plastic one, then get the hobby wing back in, or I could just order them a metal upgrade. Uh, again, Gareth pointed it out. I think it worked out around about three pound. It was nothing majorly expensive, so that's gonna give me a better mounting point for the hobby wing. Uh, I have got to try and remove the pinion off here as well, so I want to keep the stock gear in. Quite happy with that. Um, I'm now. The other thing is as well is I've had a kind of U-turn on keeping the servos and all the mounting gear for the locking diffs. I think all I'm going to do actually, to be honest with you, is lock the diffs up. Um, so uh, you can buy again on AliExpress is TRX4 diff lockers and um, that was a suggestion once again by Dwight and if I if I fit them to the um, axles the gearboxes in within the axles what I can then do is remove the servos and that's going to release some weight again now as for the high and low speed gear this is where you guys come in so if there are any crawler guys in the video uh, watching the video that they can give me a suggestion um, how do I actually remove the high and low gearing from from the car is number one number two uh, suggestions on shocks I'm not particularly happy on the shocks I think they're a bit spongy and a bit uh, lame um, I would like to possibly have tuned them but I just don't think they're up to the job um, and the rest of it guys is more kind of just testing the car out and then making changes as I go along. I'm gonna, I am gonna fit an EcoBoost servo, so obviously upgrade the servo in here. As I mentioned, I'm gonna fit the Fusion SE 1200 KV in there and do some trimming on the body, uh, just basically to release the wheel arches a little bit. And then the rest, I think I'll probably just leave as is. Uh, make sure all the diffs are all serviced and everything's all in working order, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, funny thing to mention, when I was mounting the wheels up as well, there was still tons of water in here if it weren't great for it run it. So I, that water has probably been sat in there for, I wouldn't like to say seven, seven eight months maybe. Um, luckily, the foams are all intact. Everything's okay there. Guys, like I said, suggestions on shocks, any other changes you can think of, uh, changing up the, the high and low gearing on the gearbox. Um, if you're enjoying... Uh, the kind of crawler content as well. Please let me know. This is a, I was it was a proof of concept video more than anything. Didn't plan on recording it, but as I'm actually sat here tinkering along with it, I thought maybe you guys would like to see the other side of uh, 
my channel is what I kind of do in the background. Uh, last time I put um, crawler content on the channel, it didn't, it wasn't that well received. Um, but a caveat to that is I actually enjoyed going out with the boys and you know following some lines, challenging each other. So it, I'm not necessarily going to make big long crawler videos like I did before. Um, but I will as I'm wrenching on them. Oh, well, you never know. I might do if you guys want it. I might put it up. But uh, until next time, guys, I want to say a massive thank you to each and everyone who watch, obviously watching all the videos. All the like, shares, and subscribes to go on the channel. Make sure you check the box for more videos. Stay awesome. I'll catch you later.